Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Falcon Gold Lounge here at Bahrain International Airport. Guys, tonight I'm going to be flying with Gulf Air through to London. It's a very late departure, setting off around 2.30 in the morning just here, but really looking forward to this one. I flew with them just a few months ago, just before I started the YouTube channel and had a really good time with them across to Manila. Looking forward to seeing how they do tonight across to London, so join me. It's going to be a good trip. I arrived into Bahrain on an earlier connection through from Dubai. For those of you interested to see the Gulf Air regional product, I'll pop a link to that video in the description just below. As ever, when arriving into Bahrain, there was only one priority for me, and that was heading straight to the superb brand new lounge. The lounge features a range of different seating areas and also a buffet restaurant. I didn't indulge on that particular evening, although having done so in the past, can certainly recommend this if you are passing through. In addition to the many food stations, they do have some fairly basic showers. And in addition to that as well, I particularly like the games area. How cool is it to have a golf simulator as part of the lounge? The lounge itself is a little bit up and raised from the main airport, so you do get some nice views down over the concourse. So lounge done, now time to head down to the gate. Looking forward to getting on board and most of all, getting some rest. One of the reasons I particularly like this particular airport is that it really isn't that big. So it's never that much of a walk from the lounge through down to any of the gates. Within no time at all, it was a quick trip down through the priority boarding service straight onto the aircraft. Let's kick things off with a view of the seat map. The seats in the business class cabin are laid out in a 222 configuration. Any of the window seats, to be honest, are absolutely perfect. My seat on that night was seat 1A. The cabin had a super smart look and feel. Best seats for couples just here, most definitely in the middle with those seats nicely aligned. And then the seats on the window side are far more offset, allowing for a lot more privacy for solo travelers. And this was always gonna be my choice. My favorite feature, no doubt, of this particular layout is the ease of access into the seat and a huge amount of privacy when you're sat down within it. As I get settled into the seat, let's check out a few more of this seat's features. Just down to the side of the seat, you'll be able to extract the table. This formed a really nice solid work and also dining service. Just above the seat is also some additional lighting settings and then down to the side, an awful lot of additional storage as well. I touched on a moment ago about the privacy of this particular seat design. You can raise or indeed lower the shutter between both seats. On this particular occasion, I popped it straight up and it does form for a really quite private area as soon as you're seated down within the seat. In no time at all, some of the welcome drinks were coming around. I just went for a soft beverage on this occasion. Sacrilege, I know, when flying business class, but it was very late at night. There was then also a light meal service followed by breakfast in the morning. On this particular occasion, we'll do the menus just now I didn't eat on that particular evening as it was approaching around three o'clock in the morning my priority of course was sleep as the menus were handed round and orders taken there was also then an Arabic coffee and dates service followed swiftly by the pajamas being handed out I wasted no time at all on this particular flight and sped straight away down to the bathroom and actually got changed before taking off this led to no time being wasted in getting some rest as soon as we took off as we taxi out to the runway, I will turn the music down very slightly so you can enjoy the fantastic noise of this Boeing 787 spooling up as we depart Bahrain. seemed like an incredibly long takeoff roll on that particular evening. It of course wasn't too long before we were taken to the skies above Manama, bound for London's Heathrow. In terms of our routing on that particular night, it was a fairly standard sort of routing up northwest over Iraq, over into Turkey, and then across Southeast Europe, heading towards London. 
You'll find all of the seat controls and also general lighting options on the touchpads either side of the seat. In terms of the entertainment, well, this is all controlled as you'd expect using that touchpad that then displays onto a very large monitor towards the end of the suite. In terms of the entertainment, yeah, some really good choices just there as you'd expect. And the headphones were also pretty decent as well. I'll pop in some footage from the earlier flight so you can check those out as well. As part of the pre-flight service, amenity kits were also handed out. Yes, it did seem to be a very busy time for the cabin crew on board. I'm a real fan of the Golf Air amenity kit. It looks really quite smart indeed, and it's certainly packed with all the usual potion lotions that you would expect as part of a business class offering top marks in this particular regard. The highlight for me, however, on this flight was always going to be the sleeping situation with a real keenness to get straight down to that as quickly as possible. The crew obliged very efficiently and quickly put together the bed, which actually consisted of mattress and a separate sheet, which was of real quality on top of it. I've really not encountered this whilst traveling, and this certainly led for a really nice experience. The bed itself was relatively comfy, but very nice in terms of the extra bits and pieces that they laid on top. The seating controls then also gave you the ability to do a do not disturb feature or just disturb just for meals and beverages. So that was very nice indeed. In no time at all, we were soon starting our descent into a very murky winter's morning in London Heathrow. If you are looking to fly with premium carriers across the region, certainly look no further than Qatar Airways. I recently flew their first class and you can check that out in the bottom left just now before you make your mind up of which airline to fly with. All the best for your future travel plans and I'll see you in the next video.